Quick disclaimer before we begin. This podcast is intended to inspire and motivate you based on real events. This is a safe space and a no judgment zone. Let's build our tribe. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For your kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Dear Lord, thank you for waking us up this morning and allowing us another chance at life to seek your glory. Thank you for blessing me with the confidence to share my thoughts, the wisdom for the right words to say, and allowing my story to be a light in someone's life. Thank you for blessing us with a roof over our head, clothes on our backs, and the ability to see, hear, and walk. I pray that you cover my listeners and open their minds to help understand themselves better. Dear Lord, I pray that you bless them with the wisdom, the courage, the consistency, and the persistency to keep going. I pray that you meet every need according to your will and purpose. Heal the sick and continue to guide our ways. Dear Lord, I pray that you blanket this world with peace. I pray that you remove any doubt from our minds that the enemy is using to cloud our judgment by walking in a journey of seeking you. Dear Lord, you get all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. You are worthy in all you do and continue to do in our lives. And for that, I am grateful. Dear Lord, this is your day and we will rejoice and be glad in it. When two or three is gathered, you are in the midst. Dear Lord, only you know the plans you have for us, plans to prosper us, not to harm us, plans to give us hope in a future. Dear Lord, you are the lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Make any crooked ways straight. Dear Lord, you said, ask and we shall receive, seek and we shall find, knock and the door shall be opened. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hey family, welcome back to another episode of Fearless Minds. I hope you guys had an amazing week last week and an even better one this week. Today I want to speak on the woman in the Bible who was socially, physically, and financially down and out, but somehow she was mentally, spiritually, and emotionally strong and healthy. In Mark chapter 5 verse 27 through 28 says, she came up behind Jesus in the crowd and touched his cloak because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Because she thought, I want to stop right there and touch on this statement because I don't think we realize the importance of the way we think. What and how we think determines everything for us, whether it's in a good way or a bad way. We have the power over our thoughts. This woman was healed because of how and what she thought. Believe it or not, we are brainwashed. This lady teaches me that number one, our circumstances do not dictate our thoughts. And number two, patience. This lady waited 12 years to be healed and still believed, and we can't even last a week. But the real question is, how can we get our thoughts like hers? You have to create a foundation for God's word to be planted. You have to meditate on his word. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 8 says, still other seeds fell on good ground and produced fruit. Some hundred, some 60, and some 30 times was sown. Let anyone who has ears listen. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 through 27, also says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain fell, the rivers rose, and the winds blew and pounded the house. Yet it didn't collapse because its foundation was on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and doesn't act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain fell, the rivers rose, the winds blew, and pounded that house, and it collapsed. This is important to understand because people can tell us things, but are you willing to actually do the research and do the practice behind what it takes to get our mind to a positive level? Our mind and our perspectives are the control centers of our lives. We need to know that we are just one thought away from getting what God has for us. Are you willing to do the work? The first step towards that journey is praying for God to change your thought process. Finding verses in the Bible that relates to and how you're feeling or fit your situation to lift you back up and let it stick with you. And not only finding the word to fit your situation, also learning the word and understanding who God is, not just what he can do. Write it down and look at it every day. Meditate on his word. This will remind you that he is still in control. In Psalms chapter 27, verse 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? 
You may not understand why you're going through what you're going through right now or where God is taking you, but God makes no mistakes. Everything is aligned for your purpose. Your journey is your seeds to harvest your fruit. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 5 says, By faith Abraham, when he was called, he obeyed and set out a place that he was going to receive an inheritance. He went out, even though he did not know where he was going. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 also says, God didn't bring you this far to leave you. My point is, the more you start to reciprocate positive, uplifting words and applying it to your life, you will exercise your mind to fight off those negative thoughts that try to sneak in from time to time. If you treat your brain like a muscle, you'll be careful what you feed it. What I want you to take from today's message is, water your mind and give it some TLC. I'm going to close today's message out with a prayer. Dear Lord, I pray that today's message falls upon good soil you and that the Lord comes home. Dear Lord, I pray that you plant a seed of hope and that their ears be open and stirred up of good faith. Dear Lord, you said you would never leave or forsake us. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, and can do all things exceedingly and abundantly. So it is, it is so. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you for tuning back into another episode. Please be sure to follow me on all platforms at It's Quadisha, and that's spelled out I-T-S. Q-U-A-D-E-S-H-A, my brand at Naked Body and Skincare, the podcast at My Fearless Mindset for all updates, and my YouTube channel, Quadisha D. If you want to support my brand, use code FEARLESS23 for 20% off. And don't forget to tune back into another episode next Monday. If you have any testimonies or questions you'd like me to share on my podcast, please don't hesitate to email me at fearlessminds.23 at gmail.com. Thank you in advance for your continued support and always remember to walk by faith and not by sight.